Zach Bryan apologized for drunkenly tweeting that Kanye West is better than Taylor Swift. Zach Bryan, the popular country singer known for his soulful melodies and heartfelt lyrics, recently found himself at the center of an internet storm after making a controversial comment that ruffled the feathers of Taylor Swift's fiercely loyal fan base, the Swifties. The drama unfolded after Bryan, in what he later described as a drunken moment, took to his now-deleted ex account, formerly Twitter, and made a bold comparison that ignited instant backlash. The country star stated that Kanye Kanye West, known for his polarizing yet influential presence in the music industry, makes better music than Taylor Swift, the beloved pop icon whose career has been a global phenomenon for over a decade. While his comment might have been dismissed as an off-the-cuff remark under different circumstances, the fact that it involved two of the most talked-about names in music, Taylor Swift and Kanye West, was more than enough to spark a viral uproar. In an attempt to set the record straight, Zach Bryan quickly took to Instagram to clarify his intent and apologized to the legion of Taylor Swift fans who had been offended. For the record, guys, I wasn't coming for Taylor the other night, Brian wrote in his Instagram story. He explained that he had been drunkenly comparing two records, and his words came out wrong, causing an unintended controversy. Brian even posted a screenshot of Swift's song, Fortnite, featuring Post Malone from her fictional album, Tortured Poets Department, in an effort to demonstrate his appreciation for her music. While his apology seemed genuine, Brian's attempt to clear the air didn't immediately douse the flames. Instead, it raised a few eyebrows, particularly particularly with the mention of Kanye West. For many, bringing Kanye into the conversation was a risky move given the rapper's complicated public image, which has been marred by past controversies, including his anti-Semitic remarks. However, Brian made it clear that his comparison was based purely on musical talent and not an endorsement of West's controversial behavior. I know there's a lot of stuff that clouds around yeah, and I was speaking purely musically, Brian wrote, acknowledging the baggage that comes with mentioning Kanye West's name. Yet he stood firm on his belief in Kanye Kanye's musical abilities, emphasizing that his admiration for West's artistry was separate from the rapper's questionable public statements. Despite the clarification, the damage had been done. Swift's fans, who are known for their fierce loyalty, didn't take kindly to the perceived slight. Brian, aware of the mounting backlash, admitted that he often gets into trouble with his ex-posts, which is why he had decided to deactivate his account once again. I love Taylor's music, Brian continued, and pray you guys know I'm human and tweet stupid things often. Hope one day I can explain this to her. It was a heartfelt plea for understanding, but the question remained, would the Swifties forgive him? This incident shines a spotlight on the dangers celebrities face in the age of social media. One careless post can snowball into a full-blown controversy, and for someone like Zach Bryan, who has a history of deactivating and reactivating his social media accounts, the stakes are even higher. His admission that X, formerly Twitter, gets him in trouble too much, underscores the difficulty that public figures often have when navigating the digital landscape. In an era where every tweet, every post, and every comment is scrutinized by millions, it's easy to see how even a well-intentioned message can be misinterpreted. For Brian, a country star who wears his heart on his sleeve, the internet's instantaneous reaction can be both a blessing and a curse. His honest and raw style of communication is part of what makes him relatable to fans, but it also leaves him vulnerable to backlash when things go awry. I'm sorry to any Taylor fans I pissed off or let down, Brian wrote in his apology. Love you guys and I'm trying my best. This message seemed to be aimed at softening the blow, showing his audience that he genuinely regretted his comment and the upset it caused. Yet he also opened up about something deeper, his personal struggles. In a second post, Brian shed more light on the context behind his controversial tweet. He revealed that he had been going through a hard time and was projecting a little. It was an honest confession that many could relate to, especially in an era where mental health and emotional well-being are becoming more openly discussed in the public sphere. Brian acknowledged that his frustrations had leaked out in a way that came off as rude toward Swift, someone he said he respected so much as a musician. This added layer of vulnerability gave his apology a more human element. It wasn't just a case of a celebrity issuing a standard PR-driven statement. Instead, Brian was opening up about his personal struggles, admitting fault, and trying to make amends. The last thing I want is people thinking I don't appreciate and love what she has done for music, he added, making it clear that his tweet was never intended as an attack on Swift's legacy. It's worth noting that comparisons between Kanye West and Taylor Swift have a long and contentious history, dating back to the infamous 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, where Kanye interrupted Swift's acceptance speech. Music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I... <laughs> Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time.
Since then, the two have been inextricably linked in the public eye, and any mention of their names together tends to reopen old wounds. For Brian to drunkenly compare the two was perhaps a case of stepping into a cultural minefield without realizing the full implications. Kanye and Taylor represent two vastly different worlds in music, one known for his boundary-pushing, genre-defying art, and the other celebrated for her lyrical storytelling and emotional resonance. Both are titans in their own right, and to compare them is to invite controversy. Brian, in his intoxicated state, probably didn't anticipate the uproar that would follow. As soon as Brian's post went live, Swift's fans, affectionately called the Swifties, wasted no time in expressing their displeasure. The Swifties are notorious for their unwavering support of Taylor and their readiness to defend her honor at the slightest provocation. In Brian's case, it wasn't just the comparison to Kanye that set them off, but also the perceived jab at Swift's new bow. NFL star Travis Kelsey with his comment, Eagles greater than Chiefs, Chiefs greater than Kanye, Kanye greater than Taylor, who's with me. The reference to the Eagles and Chiefs was seen as a swipe at Kelsey, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, adding another layer of drama to the situation. Swift and Kelsey's rumored relationship has been a hot topic in recent months, and any comment that could be interpreted as a dig at Kelsey was bound to draw Swift, no pun intended, criticism from her fans. The backlash was swift and severe, prompting Brian to shut down his ex account in a matter of hours. At the end of the day, this incident serves as a reminder of how quickly things can escalate in the world of celebrity and social media. For Zach Bryan, the lesson is clear. When it comes to expressing opinions, especially about someone as universally adored as Taylor Swift, a little more caution might be needed. His apologies seemed heartfelt, and his acknowledgement of his personal struggles added depth to the situation. But only time will tell whether the Swifties are ready to forgive and forget. In the meantime, Bryan has vowed to stay off X, perhaps a wise decision for someone who admits that his posts tend to get him into trouble too much. For now, he's focusing on making music, staying grounded, and perhaps most importantly, thinking twice before tweeting under the influence. As for Taylor Swift, while she has yet to publicly respond to Brian's apology, one can only hope that the two musical powerhouses can move past this moment of drunken misunderstanding. In the world of celebrity controversies, this incident is likely to blow over with time. However, it also serves as a cautionary tale for public figures navigating the treacherous waters of social media. Zach Bryan's experience is not unique, but his willingness to own up to his mistake and offer a sincere apology could help him regain the trust of fans, both his own and Taylor's. As he himself advised, don't drink and tweet. It's a lesson we could all take to heart, but especially those in the limelight, where one wrong move can lead to an online frenzy. In the end, the real takeaway from this saga is the power of words, and how, in the age of social media, even a single tweet can have far-reaching consequences.